What's up comic book fans? It's Asiatic for Ill Philly TV and it's another great Wednesday because it's comic book day and there's a lot of new releases, a lot of keys, a lot of variants guys. But before I show you all the new stuff, let's start with the back issues. These are the ones that I picked up today while I'm flicking through in my local comic book shop and guys how can I not pass these ones this is amazing spider-man 58 or 499 amazing condition for two pound 50 really good in the corners edges very sharp it's almost up it's it's you know just released today and I have amazing spider-man 512 you know their keys because you know what this one here you have the appearance of the last stand spider-man it's almost like you know the alternate reality of um, spider-man but age into his later years so basically it's like an old man spider-man but he's not ezekiel ezekiel is the old man spider-man this one came out 2003 i think but ezekiel one came out first appearance 2014 if i believe and if you guys are into like you know old old man logan old man hawkeye or old lady harley check them out because i think they're gonna be great you know in coming years especially like you know famous what happened to old man logan it became like a great hit in the movies and i think a lot of them will follow especially like there's one that old man quill there's a lot of them so while they're cheap old lady Har uh, laura kinley or um x23 there's a lot of them coming out guys and please check them out and you know grab the keys while they're cheap this one is two pound two pound fifty and it's a no-brainer really they're really good quality and next some more old issues that i picked up this is not really that old but you know a few weeks ago mark brooks variant this is a 1 in 50 amazing if you guys haven't been reading conan check this out amazing artwork in this one done by um ribic the um, and also an amazing story by the way guys so if you are into conan check this out this is a variant one is one in 50 is hard to get they just got it for me and uh, now that's why i just picked it up now another back issue this one came out last week that's the Grenoble variant of uh, marvel comic presents these are like uh one shots old stories from back in the days and yeah check them out that's one of the old ones and now let's go to the latest latest ones which is I have Lady Death, Lady Death, Hellraisers number one. This is the Bombshell Edition. I thought my comic shop is gonna get some more variants, but you know, this one is only one I got there. But there's already it's so surprising today. There's also already like a big queue outside, and everyone is you know waiting for this ones but you know i couldn't i, I couldn't get any more because you know it's only a few of them left but at least i got two and um yeah nearly it's my cover of the week no nearly nearly guys but um i'll show you my cover of the week a, a bit later on but that's lady death and they are very scarce you know very hard to get and also talking about hard to get, we have Antarctic Press, Heroes at Large. This is a great book, guys, for mature readers. I got three of them. Oops. I'm still trying to figure out my layout of what to do and how best I can showcase the comics that I get. But so far, this one is working, I think, because normally what I do is like some of the comic shops that I go to, they have like, you know, bag and board. So if you can, if if I do a video with them standing up like that, then it's good. But most of the time, they don't really or they charge you extra for bag and boards, which is I don't really pay because I got mylars and full backs at home. That's when I do them. But when I come back from the 
at the comic shop is a bit late so but i want to do the video straight away so i just like you know instead of doing them bag and boarding them losing time losing the daylight you know i i want to do like videos in natural daylight but at the moment that's how it is you know i can lay them on the table nice and neat and you can still show i can still show you the artwork and how good they are and how crisp but anyway heroes at large is indie it looks good guys amazing details hope you even have like a old school style comic there i'm looking forward to read that one i heard good things about that so heroes at large number one and another number one my the guy that i buy my comics from tom he's an amazing guy and then uh, just read this one he said this is an amazing book i pre-ordered that one a few months ago and i got it now and i can't wait to read that one so oliver number one it's another one by image try to get that next up another great read this one is getting getting crazy now for immortal hulk if you guys are not up to date check this out al ewing is doing a great job you know especially covers covers for um man i'm just li looking at it on the the lens in the camera um it's just an amazing cover especially you see it up close this alex ross alex ross are, is doing an amazing covers look out for number 14 guys look out for number 14 it's gonna be amazing that one if you guys are into immortal hope check number 14 or pre-order it or something but it's a great great um cover and also a great story okay next up william tell i don't know if you guys know this one i heard this a few months ago um i don't know really if it's um if it's gonna be all right i'm not sure but it's from guardians night studios the artwork is amazing it's different from uh you know what i normally read but you know i flick through it's, it's quite good artwork and it almost like scotty young middle west kind of type william william the last sorry i said william tell but yeah check this out it's the first one i think yeah and um yeah check it out that's actually no that's from artantic press sorry guys um i'm a bit lost today but yeah william the last number four i thought that was number one okay another great read guys this is from vertigo american carnage they're doing some great stuff brian hill i think with killmonger and um uh, winter soldier and now um this one he's doing some good stuff guys so check it out um uh, issue one and two i enjoyed it very much and it's getting to the tick of it now you know check this out if you haven't checked it out yet american carnage by vertigo next up batman 62 three this one tom king as usual i think this is still a one shot one going forward until like four more issues before he come back to the story of the one that he left on um 60 60 or 61 so batman belair though that his her artwork if you guys don't know um uh, redlands check redlands out she's doing the artwork for that one as well then next up number issue number two this is a maxi series this is two of 12 freedom fighters it's amazing guys i have um the part one and i read it i also have um key issues back in the days when they first came out i have old comics of freedom fighters and i really really like them and yeah this guy is the elastic man with all the Z. They're they're crazy guys. Check this uh check this one out. Freedom Fighters number two. And this is getting crazier and crazier. Man without fear. This is dealing the life after the death of Daredevil, but this is only a five 
issue series this one is number four one more and then that's it and then daredevil is coming back with the new um new series i think it's uh, chip sidarski's sidarski is doing it um i'm not quite sure but i think he is so check him out if you guys like chip with um you know sex criminals or his run with um peter parker spider-man check him out he's doing great in this one although i haven't seen a lot of people pick that up but you know it's your loss you know next one this one is wonder comics dc this is a uh, brian michael bendis creator of um Miles Morales and you know Young Justice is you know is doing he wrote this one and that's the Wonder Comics imprint it's an amazing guys amazing amazing artwork there and um if you don't know check this out check what it's all about and it's Naomi number 1 another hot comic from Atlantic Press they're doing some great stuff you know punchline number 3 Sorry, I thought it was number four, but it's number three. And it's amazing, guys. Artartic Press, they're doing some good shit. You get me? But that's number three. Thick comic. The, the way Artartic Press do their comics as well is quite good. It's very amazing. The, the, you know, the paper stock, the card stock is lovely. Amazing artwork. It's just glorious, guys. Glorious. So... If you haven't checked Punchline, check it out. Next up, another indie Alders, um, Albatross one. If you guys don't know, Grumble, Grumble number three. I've been enjoying that one. My girlfriend has been enjoying that one. And it's been amazing. Sorry, guys. I just dropped some comics on the floor. Don't do that, guys. Especially when you're spending so much money on them. Don't want to let them just drop and get ruined and all the corners are broken this one grumble number three i also picked up some old grumble stuff if i can show it on the pile because i already piled them up i thought i put it all together i guess i'm not that organized today anyway next up hardcore number two Number one is amazing. This one is Skybound Image. I always try to get Skybound. Especially, you don't know where they're going to when it comes to like, you know, first issue. But this one, I'll continue reading it. It's been amazing. Next up, Shuri number four. If you guys haven't known yet, um, Black Panther has been nominated. You know, I don't know... Um, for like um, best graphics or something like that. I can't remember. But it's been nominated in Oscar. One of the first ones for, you know, a superhero or a Marvel um, see, uh, um, animated movie to be, you know, nominated. That alone is a big achievement. And if you haven't watched um, Black Panther, it's amazing, guys. You know, and Shuri, Black Panther sister, Chala sister, um has his own comic now she's doing great she just came back from um you know the space with Groot and um what what's that guy's name um bracket raccoon and uh, she's coming back and yeah it's amazing number four next up i'm bubbling on actually today um but i really should get on next up this one is um roar roar comics or um lion roar queen credible this guy's power is he can't be hurt like physically whatever you do with him but you know he's been getting looked at with a lot of different superheroes and um yeah he's getting into trouble in the last series and this is continuing on that one this is number three next up i try to be fast teen titans 26 that's the variant version um, I think I, I have to stop with this one now. I'm not really like feeling it now, but you know, I like Crush, Lo, uh, you know, uh, Lobo's daughter, but most of them, hmm. anyway, Teen Titans 26. But this one, I've been 
I've been enjoying. This is the last of the series, Low Road West. It's an amazing story, guys. If you haven't checked it out, Boom Studio, that's number five. Moving on, Justice League number 16. Who are the children of Mars? This one is getting interesting as well. To be honest, I haven't. I'm not up to date with it, you know. I pick, I picked up. So what I do is like I picked up, and then when there's a bunch of them already, I read them straight away. But I haven't been updated on that one. But I still pick it up. Justice League. Next up, Carson of Venus, Pirates of Venus, number two. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, I picked up number one, and it was really, really interesting. So I wanna, you know, check number two out and see where it's going. Yeah, American Mythology, another, you know, small production, guys. Let's continue with the small production, guys. All the indies, I love me some indies. Scout Comics, The Mall. This one is, it's been hot for a mu you know, it's been very hot for a minute now. This is issue number three. This is their homage to Back to the Future. If you guys don't know Back to the Future, that's amazing. I don't know if it's a cover swipe or it's just a homage, you know. A lot of talk nowadays that Matina is, you know, stealing a lot of shit, you know, about when it comes to covers and stuff. So now you don't you don't really know. But whether if it's a homage or a steal. Anyway, let's move on. Al Albatross Funny Books, another indie, guys. You guys, if you don't know this, what about me is like I, I do a lot of indies. Anyway, this one, number two, Mega Ghost. Mega Ghost, Eric Powell, the one who, um, you know, wrote The Goon. I think he's the one writing this one, right? So, yeah, this is number two. Check it out. And I was talking about Grumble a while ago. I picked up number three as well. That's... You know, that's the uh, variant. That's more expensive one. It's just shiny papers and stuff like that. But um, I can't remember who did the variant on this one. If you guys know who did this variant, let me know. But I'm sure it's either uh, Jen Bartel, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, check it out. I also picked up some old stuff. If you guys don't know, it's funny because... Suddenly, when I first picked up Grumble, they were talking about the speech bubble, how, you know, this, the speech bubbles are not supposed to be there and stuff like that. And I just um, went to my local comic shop and then they had these ones. There are a lot of them. And then I was like, suddenly everyone is fighting to get on it. And then one guy is like picking them up and then suddenly he just dropped them in the corner. So I think he didn't want them anymore and then I'll pick them up and then the other guys pick all the other stuff. But um, anyway, at least I got to, I also have the normal cover, the variant one, but I never had this one. So I'm, I'm happy that I have this. That's Grumble, back issue number one. Let's continue on in the new release. Teenage Mutant Num Ninja Turtles number 90, cover B. That's an amazing one. Look at that. Um, cover there. I don't normally read uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I started doing them, started reading them because, you know, as a young kid, I grew up with these cartoons and, you know, it's nice to see them in comics and it's striving well with IDW. Next up, Aquaman. Aquaman, that's the variant cover. And you guys, if you like key comics, check this out. The, there's an appearance here of um, Namagod. Um, if you see the um, original cover, the cover A, she's in the front cover. If you guys don't like this one, take that one. I think that's a good key issue, guys, if you're into collecting first appearances. The first appearances of Namagod, it's in Aquaman 44. So, And plus, the artwork in here is sick. You know, there's some good artworks here, and um, if you like, if you like this, check it. Next, Die Kitty Die number 
four, I believe. Yeah, number four. This is a crazy read. You know, Chapter House, Astro Comics. If you don't know, check it. It's really good. Next up, Marvel. We're getting into the big boys now. Marvel is doing um, 80th anniversary, so they're pulling stuff from the vault. And this is War is Hell. Those are the Chichetto variants. And this is the normal variant cover um, A. I also want to get the cover B, the Craigland variant. But the thing is, I saw this one and then it says Under Fire Over London. And the other one I think didn't have it. Um, correct me guys if I'm wrong. But you know, I live in London. And I thought that was like a great touch, you know. And um, yeah, I get the normal cover. Plus I got the Chichetto version as well. Which is, you know, you got like, I think that's Black Widow there. So you got Black Widow, Captain America, and Wolverine. That's War is Hell, which indeed is. So we're moving on to the big boys, like I said. Next up, Spider-Man Friendly Neighborhood. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, -na 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 -na, Spider-Man. This is number two. This is the Cabal, Cabal variant. I don't know. A lot of people are like saying like, oh, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man is not good. But I'm enjoying it, guys. If you guys, I don't know, guys. Well, a lot of people got different opinion. But I, I believe for me, I like it. So, you know, if you guys don't like it, it's up to you. But, you know, I'm, I'm still picking this up. Some other people are not picking it up. But, yeah, check it out. This is... An amazing, amazing artwork by Juan Cabal. And he's been doing great. And then some more Spider-Man goodness. This is Superior Spider-Man. Um, Dr. Octavio. That's um, cover B, I believe. It's a variant cover. And I also have the Mike Houghton variant. I think it's 1 in 25, I believe. And that is such a good cover this is a frosty sleeve i'm sorry guys but if you if i take this out in a second yeah if i take this out i think it's just a sick sick cover don't you agree guys i think that's a sick cover that's also a sick cover and uh yeah superior spider-man Oh, forgot these ones. These are from last week's that I didn't pick up. These are Black Widow. This is 1 in 25 and 1 in 50. Um, my comic book shop just got them now and then got it on my box. And um, yeah, Black Widow, there's nothing more that I can say about that one. I haven't really read the first one. Next up, big, big, big. If you guys know Donny Cates, he's been doing amazing and i have some different variant covers for this guardians of the galaxy you got the Groot version i got the one in 25 um gerard Perel variant i believe and then i got a few again the wraparound version wraparound because it wraps around like that you got galactus on the front a sick one Oh, there's another one there. It's quite a few. I got a free five different, well, three different covers for the Guardians of the Galaxy, really. Next up, Crip of Shadows. Like I said, they're releasing some old goodness, classic horror. I love that cover. It reminds me back in the days. But I also have this Venomize or Pepe Laras version. That's sick as well. I like I like this here. It's just amazing cover. Yeah, that's Crypt of Shadows number one. I don't know what I don't know if these are just one shot or they they will continue uh, doing the. It will be an ongoing series because you know, eighty years. A lot of the comics book 
back in the days that they're gonna be hard to get or they will be like you know very old so they're you know they're doing a reprint of those stories and i you know it's good that they're doing it but i don't know if these are ongoing issues guys if they are let me know or um yeah it will be good if they are next up avengers 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 there is a first appearance there of um, iron fist for a hundred thousand bc or ten thousand bc i'm not quite sure but um she's she's in the cover a if you guys like first um appearances check the cover a out i think she's there and the artwork in here is also good oh, if you guys know no fear matt murdoch that's their devil chips darkest run that's on february is coming soon but this is this is this is good as well that's her iron fist she's a woman that's good there it's a great battle guys but yeah check that out avengers look my copy is already broken anyway few more to go last one i think my covers of the week these are my covers of the week guys by the way buffy buffy oh actually sorry guys it's not even the last ones but buffy the vampire slayer is back and look at those sick covers i got one i got two i got three i got mm. I, oh, but this is my favorite this is my cover of the week Look at that one. I thought she's she's putting the middle finger, but it's not. Got f one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those ones where she's having her lips. And I think it's an amazing, amazing cover, guys. And we got the 1 and 25 Bartel variant. Jen Bartel. You know, you actually know she's doing, um, she's the one doing Blackbird at the moment. And it's amazing, guys. If you don't know her artwork, check it out. But these are my covers of the week. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And... Yeah, let's move this out of the way, guys. And few more to go. And that will be it. This is longer than I expected it to be. But there you go. Another back issue. The Empty Man number three. I read one and two and I thought it's amazing. Colin Bunn. He does a lot of an amazing horror. When it comes to horror goodness check him out that's why i like his style and this one is sick i think it's turning out to be in a film so if you guys you know check all these old comics the empty man it's an amazing story and talking about you know bun mr bun colin bun blossom 666 this is from the archie horror world i got one two Three, four. These are sold out already, guys. And I also have the variant covers. I got one. I got two. Two of those one. They're brothers, I think. Yeah, they are. So that one there. I got those covers. I also have the six, six, six red ones. This is a homage from something I can't remember. And I also have three of these ones here so there you go guys oops amazing amazing covers this week sorry this is a bit long than usual i try to be quick next time but i want to give you a bit more information of the books that i picked up today that's why it's a bit longer but if you guys stayed on all the way to the end well done amazing and i see you guys next week bye for now asiatic signing out peace Peace.